Hello you fine ladies and gentlemen, how are you all doing? I hope your day is going well. Today I have 5 tips and tricks on how to be an overall better Battlefront player. So let's get started with tip number 1. And that is before every match, decide which loadout and blaster are best suited to the present map. Now this is really important because this can give you a big edge over the opposition which may not change their loadout every time or may not change their blaster every game and their, their blaster they're using might not be too suited to the map you're playing on. So it will give you a huge edge over many of your opponents if you go in every before every round and just change up a few things so that you know you're going into it with the best equipment for that game. This does take some practice about learning the maps and learning which uh, abilities and which blasters are best on each, but after you have that practice, this tip is really, really helpful and can really improve your game. Now on to tip number two, which is kind of weird, but it's actually really useful. It's record your gameplay. And you can do this with like the share function on a uh, PlayStation and I think even Xbox or if you have any recording software you can use that as well and just go into a game and just record it and even if the game doesn't go very well that's fine because that's how you learn you learn from your mistakes and that can be really crucial in Battlefront so just go record your gameplay and then look at it after and just review the whole thing and see what you could have done better and learn from the mistakes you made and that can really really improve your gameplay now on to tip number three be aware of where your teammates are on the minimap and don't get too far away from them. Now this is actually a really important tip and a lot of people don't really think about it too much. Although if you've played a lot of FPS games or a lot of Battlefront, maybe you've just kind of done it unconsciously, I'm not sure. Uh, but it's really important to always be looking at the minimap, not only to see where the enemies might be, but to see where your allies are. This is really, really key. So that way you can't get too far away from them because that can be really dangerous if you're completely in enemy territory with no cover and no teammates. That's not good. But also, knowing where your teammates are can alert you to where the enemies are. If your whole team is on one side of the map, you know the enemies are probably going to be spawning on the opposite side or somewhere else than where all your teammates are. So it can really help you in seeing exactly where the enemies are on the battlefield, even if the enemies themselves are not on the minimap. So this is a tip that I really advise you take into consideration and really practice because it can come in handy a lot. Now on to tip number four, strafe when firing your blaster. Even if the opponent you're firing at is not firing back, it's still really important to strafe all the time and be quick and be mobile and be really fast in those movements because that will make it a lot harder for other enemies that may be off in the distance with a line of sight on you to hit you. It'll really hinder their aim and that is really, really crucial. And don't do wide strafes, you know, because those are pretty easy to follow and also makes it harder for you to aim. Just do quick little strafes so you can still aim, but it's a lot harder for them to aim at you. Now, tip number five, be patient and don't run into the battle head on. You know, this is kind of like a Jedi tips and tricks. This is something the Jedi would be telling you. Be patient because that can really, really determine how well you do in Battlefront and make you a far better player if you learn how to be patient. That means if you see a group of enemies or your team is firing at another group of enemies that are firing back, don't just go in there and start firing at them and charge head on into their front lines. Don't do that. Look for another way around. Look for a flanking path. Now, of course, you can also just stay back in cover and use support, supportive fire to help your teammates, but a line of sight is not always there for you, so that can be a little hard. So definitely look for another way around. Look for a flank route that they won't suspect, and then you can really get the jump on your enemies. So that is all I have to say for today. Those are five tips and tricks on how to be a better player in Star Wars Battlefront. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you found this helpful, I am very glad. If you wish to subscribe, feel more than welcome to. And as always, I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.